When I was uh, a lot younger, um, we used to go to, Jeff and I used to go to like random parties around like North Campus yeah. and uh, we would just steal stuff. Like, oh, we, way we, inside. We called it Klepto Club. Oh, like and not it from was stores, like, from people's yeah, places. Yeah, it was just like a competition to see who could who could nip the, the coolest thing by the end of the night. Oh, God, there's a horrible story about a kid renting thousands of dollars worth of film equipment from UT and just leaving it in his living room and having a big party, and it was all stolen. Oh, no. And there's insurance, and he goes to UT, and he's like, look, you know, all this stuff was stolen because I had a party and somebody took it. And then UT's like, we're not covering that. Are you serious? You just, like, had a party, a bunch of random people... You know, yeah. people because there's, there's people yeah. like you and Jeff in the world. <laughs> you know, and you have to like plan for that. Still film equipment. Or what, people what, what, at the you still liquor, like liquor bottles, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Well, wait, what else did you? You didn't steal phone. Over. Well, I guess no, no, there weren't like <laughs> there wasn't like cell phones. Weren't I didn't want to say right? that. <laughs> I didn't want to like guess. Maybe there weren't cell phones back then, and you get there all were, mad. But it was like there were two. You know, it was like shitty. What else did you steal besides liquor bottles? What did you take? I stole some sunglasses. Ray Bans. What? Yeah, Ray Bans. Potted plants. Is there anything? <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa. a potted plant? <laughs> it was funny. Is there anything you stole that you still did have? Did you ever exchange it? No. You no. should. Did you ever like get a potted plant from one place and exchange it with another and wonder if like the guy noticed the we next did that. day? Man, is that's how guests work. We actually did that. We actually did that once. That's awesome. Good job, Lauren. She's Can really I fun. tell my shower story? I, I tried to. I never got to tell it. Oh, another shower story. Go on. Yeah, I have a I have an adolescent ever? shower story. No, so he was also during your ad. He was like, I never got to tell oh, my oh. shower story. Buried penis that. syndrome. No, um, so I was uh, playing high school football and I wasn't great. And you played uh, high school football. Yeah. What were you? Uh, I was a defensive end Waterboy. and a receiver. Ooh, wow. Okay. I'm fast. I'm like. Okay. Anyway, you go for a race. So yeah, I will absolutely beat you in a race tonight. You so. Fast, I immediately you, regret that. You tore off the bottoms of his shoes. Yeah, all right, I'll race you tonight. Okay. Okay, I probably will lose. Anyway, so it was after practice and, you know, went to the showers. And there was this, like, you know, popular slash really good guy, uh, really good at football uh, guy showering next to me. And a lot of times guys didn't bring soap. They just kind of washed off, but I had a big bar of soap, and he asked to borrow it. And I'm a weird germaphobe, but I was like, oh, man, this is, like, really good. He's really popular. Maybe he'll, like, help me out or invite me places so I gave it to him and he like you know wash his chest wash his legs no. and then he just like rubbed it all over his dick and balls and then he just like handed it back to me and put it in my hand he didn't even have the and decency to like, like lather up his hands oh. and I was just like uh did you sniff it oh yeah you <laughs> said so Chaz I actually so save positive. it and Why I use it. I use it on special <laughs> occasions for good luck, it's like or before you, game days. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, when, when I you, need to." When you want like alpha male fer pheromones on you, you're like, yeah. "I'm gonna rub his ball scent on me." Yeah. Yeah. Did it have, like, really be little off. pieces of his pubes still stuck? I don't know what it look for pube hair. <laughs> when I when I was in middle school, this is like pre puberty bland. I was a late bloomer. Um, I was in a theater class, and at one point, this guy. He was very tall and very grown up for his age. Was like walking past me on an aisle and he's wearing basketball shorts. I felt his dong like <laughs> flop up against my arm and I was like, <laughs> It's just kind of that same feeling that Brandon had probably. Um, when I was playing flag football once and I always play with my friends at the <laughs> UT in a mural field. And then one day we didn't have enough people and there were like these other guys playing, but these were the guys who were good in high school football but not good enough in college mm -hmm. and we always play tackle and one point i got hit to the ground and then a guy ran past me and literally stepped on my dick <laughs> as he was running <laughs> like Stars. not in the crotch but dick on ground step on it <sighs> and kept going and I was like, this is the ultimate humiliation. You're just trying to, that's like a subtle, humble brag about like having a big dick. It's like, yeah, it was so laying on the big. ground. He didn't step on my crotch, but he stepped on my no. dick because it no, was laying off to the side. You don't have to like, it's not that. It's just like you're angled and it's there. I played a girls touch football in high school. There's a lot of tit touching, accidental tit touching. Oh, nice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story. What? You just be like chasing after someone and you like reach out to touch them and you know you'd get a handful of tit or ass or something or vagina one I time. should go to the porn was there games. ever a squeeze no okay no the shitty thing about being the fitness guy at rooster teeth is people send me like 
pictures of themselves flexing and it's weird and i don't necessarily want that I everyone guess. gets their thing people send me everything Puns. that has a pun in it or a dick in it if anybody needs fitness advice i'm happy to help them on the rooster teeth you know like site you know they want to message me and i can tell them you know stuff but like i don't want to you know it's weird getting pictures of yeah it's, so that's your strange. thing barb that's what you get that's people tell me to die <laughs> 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 is that a thing is that like is that my, like, stick? Like, oh, it's Brandon. Oh, Brandon, why did you go die? Kill yourself. Why are you alive? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. I like you, Brandon. You're all right. We were talking. That's the nicest thing you've ever said. <laughs> Brandon, you're all right. We're talking about dicks and stepping on dicks and, and dicks and things. Uh, I, there was a sleepover once. Are you just saying that for that person who Speaking of dicks, let me tell you about together. this sleepover. <laughs> so there was a sleepover. It was just me and like some of my friends. My friend actually just got married. It was Grace, and he just got married. I was at his wedding in Arkansas. And uh, we were thinking about stories the other day. There was this one time where we were at Josh's house, and we we're all just clowning around, you know, and Grayson's walking down the hall, and I jump, and I pants Grayson, but his boxers went with it. So it was just like everything and then right that moment josh's mom turns the corner she's like hey boys you need me oh my god she <laughs> saw everything and from that point on jo grayson's never been able to look josh's mom in the eye oh my god she said everything because she'll only look at his dick or something. <laughs> <laughs> like how, she can't lock eyes with him it's just how old whoop. was he was she he was late middle school was she attractive was there a mrs robinson miss de Leon was not bad looking yeah but middle school so like 13 I don't know what middle school. I, I, Did you just give her first and last name? No. No. Miss. Okay, just her last name. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember ages, so I'm on Tinder. And and Brandon met his girlfriend on Tinder, and we've talked about how efficient Tinder is. It's I'm the one who got name. Blaine on Twinder, Tinder. Tinder. Yeah. Twinder. Well, I'd been on it before, Twitter, but you Tinder. you you renewed my interest in it. Blaine was like, when I first showed him, he was like on the computer, like doing work with one hand, and the left hand he was swiping. Yeah. It was actually pretty impressive. Very efficient. Yeah. So um. I, I had met with a Tinder girl. And we, you could say that we dated for a brief amount of time. And she introduced me to this great bar in Austin. It was really cool, but she goes there a lot, you know. But that's fine. Well, things didn't work out between us. But I really like this bar. So whenever I want to go to this bar, <laughs> what I do is I go on Tinder and I check her profile. And it says how many miles away that person is. So if it says less than a mile away, I do not go to that bar. That's so creepy. But if it says like two or three miles away, I go to that bar. Oh my gosh. So, do you like check for updates? It's like five miles away, four miles away, fuck. three miles away. I gotta get out. She <laughs> Waiter. walks fast. Waiter. Jesus. It's like an alien's like looking at the hand <laughs> <laughs> the dot is blinking, coming closer to you. <laughs> Game <laughs> over, man. <laughs> yeah. So she goes there a lot, like every uh, weekend a lot, or? I don't, I don't know. We didn't really were together whatever for that long but she we we when we were like hanging out we went there like three or four times like it'd be awkward if you ran into her kind of it'd thing. be fucking awkward really? and she would call me out on my shit really? she was she was a kind of a weird chick didn't chris make out with her uh no he mm, <laughs> no she was supposed to she was coming in for an audition for something and and uh i introduced her to the guys and then i it, it just didn't work out so it was weird <laughs> She was a strange girl. Yeah. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would have been for a, a work thing that ended up not happening. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's yeah. not like she came by and like Chris said, mm, who are there. you? Yeah. Like she, uh. she was just locking eyes with Blaine the whole time. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny you should say that. It kind of, it was sort of Is like that. Is that your that. makeout face? <laughs> 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 that's hot i was talking to somebody poor esther <laughs> we were getting in a conversation about like people who don't know how to kiss and how awkward that is to be with that person oh god like i like i've was making out with a girl who didn't know how to kiss and she kept on like pecking she wasn't like it wasn't like a a kiss like you're used to it was she was just she kept on going like <laughs> she was like what are you doing she wasn't like like she was trying to feed. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing, but she was just like. <laughs> One time, uh, I uh, I don't know. I got I didn't get bored, but like every now and then, I'd open my eyes to see what's going on around me. While we were making out, and then at one point I was doing that, she kind of opened her eyes a little and saw that I had my <laughs> eyes wide open. I was like, "No, it's not a normal thing." I was just, I was curious. That's Jesus. the worst. 
But like the first, the first when I was young, when I, you know, first time I kissed a girl, I, my eyes were open the whole time. Oh. Like it wasn't like a movie where I was like naturally in that thing and my eyes closed. It was like so many other mechanical things. I was like, there's a lot of things I don't want to see when I open my eyes when I'm kissing someone, and that's Brian and staring back at me. <laughs> Damaris is telling me a story. We were just like exchanging like weird girl <laughs> stories, just relationship stuff. And he was telling me about a girl who would just like that's all she did. There was no tongue. There was nothing. It was just like and he would just be like kissing her, but she would just be like <laughs> so. It's like some kind of weird alien thing. Yeah, it's just like I'm sucking your soul out. It makes me think of like in Sesame Street, the yip, 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 yip. <laughs> like mouth gaping open. Barbara, how old were you when you had your last hickey? I never had a hickey. Gus? Fuck you. Uh, Fuck oh, me. it's been a long time. Because I'm not I, a dude, fucking so idiot. <laughs> Blaine was 22. No, it was like a couple of months ago. Yeah, aren't you 22? No, he's 23. Oh. 24. 24. <laughs> First of all, and fuck you for bringing that up. Second of all, you guys, okay, so we had a makeup artist come in recently to teach us how to do makeup. <laughs> and, and then I think it was Brandon or Aaron was like, Hey, how do you cover up hickeys? <laughs> and even the makeup artist was like, what dumb fuck has hickeys? And I was just like sitting there, just like, you know. Past the age of 16. <laughs> Jeez. It was just, it's the same chick with the bar. She was weird, you know, but it's whatever. You get into it. I didn't know. I like rhino skin. I didn't think it would happen. Whatever. <laughs> rhino skin? Yeah. It's hard know. to know. I don't know. I'm just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you, it is just like that. <laughs> it's Chris's that's, girlfriend right That's there. Chris's ex-girlfriend, yeah. Wait, were they kiss, dating kiss, for kiss, a while? Kiss, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Were they dating, dating, or just like, was this a date? Oh, I don't know. He was just telling me he was kissing a girl, and she just... Okay. <gasps> I would hope that wouldn't be your girlfriend, because like... She was trying to suck his soul out. <laughs> He's like, because at some point, then you have to have a conversation, like, listen. Or like, it, the way you get kiss, that far. It's a little weird. No, yeah. you can't do no, that. No, if if you're if you, you go on a date with someone, usually like if you kiss them within the first, let's say three dates, that's a typical amount of time, right? Yeah, I would say so. If the kiss is terrible, it doesn't go any farther, right? You, you don't balance. give them a chance. What if you, you had penis reduction it. surgery? All right, all right. Well, maybe. <laughs> no. Well, Facebook used to have this great thing called Honesty Box. So it was a way that you could tell somebody something <gasps> honest without hurting their feelings. I remember that. And at one point. <sighs> I, never, I don't remember that. What was it? Like it was on. You were You probably weren't there. It was probably when, was when apps university. were starting in university only. Yeah. Like you would post anonymously to someone's profile yeah. or something. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, so I had this girlfriend, and you know we were in love. You know, I love everything about her. But she had these shoes that made her feet smell. And whenever she took off her shoes at night, it would be the worst foot odor in the world, and it would drive me crazy. And I was like, I can either throw away those shoes, or I could go to her honesty box. And tell her anonymously that she had a foot odor problem, oh and that's God. such a general thing because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. But you don't want her to be the girl who has smelly feet because no. it's not just me who's going to notice. So I feel like that's the best solution. This was the best solution. So, <laughs> no, because people will say, "Oh, you should address it direct." On, and I was like, "Well, this is like I'm jerking off to these." Um, <laughs> it felt like I'm strutting, um, but no, because it's just. You can't tell somebody that. No. Because it's going to crush them. Especially if you're like dating and in love and all that stuff. Yeah, you can't tell them that. So what happened with the girl in the shoes? Yeah. Uh, she didn't throw away those shoes. Did she? No, there's got to be more to the story did than she, that. Like, did she but find out it She replied and she just said thanks, but she didn't th She didn't throw away the shoes. Mm. It didn't work. Obviously. I mean, you're out with she her. She probably thought it was a joke. Is that why you guys broke no, up? No, she didn't. Uh, no. That's a very long and... Okay. Not great story. I'm, I'm happy you said no, because that would be sad. Next podcast. If you broke up with her over shoes. No, no, I would pucks. never do that. <laughs> the older you get, the more you're kind of like, yeah, it's fine. I'll deal with that. Yeah. You realize, like, what are the really important things are and what the stuff you can't just, like, let go. Like, you can't obsess over those small things. Like, the George Costanza mode, where you just find, like, this one little thing. You're like, I can't be with this person. Their because toenails are too long. Yeah, yeah. relationships. Yeah. <laughs> or she you're the pickiest the person open. here. Whatever. We're not I'm gonna so get... glad. I'm, let me tell you, I'm so glad I don't have to deal with any of that shit anymore. Oh, yeah, Be you're glad. It's been so long. It's like if if Esther farts and it stinks, I can tell her. It stinks. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't have to go to her honesty box and to be like, sometimes your farts stink. It's like 
You've been married to someone for a long time. It's just like also whatever. like who else would be writing that? It would <laughs> obviously be you. That's why the shoe thing is like who else would be smelling her shoes when her feet not smelling. Her, no, it's her smelling her feet. Sometimes yeah, but you who know, else your feet's be, out. People who else know. would be smelling her feet when her shoes are off, other than her boyfriend? Friends, I guess. Yeah. Sure. This is me. It's an obvious. I don't know. My shoes are usually on around people. But I, I, I feel that way. Well, let me ask a follow up question then. How often do you hang out with friends and show your feet? Like, how often <laughs> does that, is that Rarely. Occurrence? Yeah. Because it's like maybe when I was younger, when I used to go over to my friend's house and have like sleepovers or whatever. But now it's like usually you're at a bar or a restaurant. Right. Or you're at out work. in public somewhere. So, you're, yeah, that's why I'm always wearing shoes. College is different because you're always hanging out with people all the time. Like, you're just either at their house. Yeah, you've been like, at it's, their it's house a different, or It's a different, like, Vibe, but mm. I feel I feel a lot like you. Obviously, I'm not married, but being in a relationship, because being single is awful. I don't know why people like say, "Oh, it's so great, it's awesome." I hate I hated it. I'm not a guy that just enjoys being single and going to bars and stuff. It's pretty shitty. Sex. <clears throat> yeah, and Tinder is not helping. Actually, really, not at all. So why don't, why just stop using it then? Well, because like. I work a lot, so it's like my only other opportunity is to go to bars, and then what am I going to do? Just like meet like a really drunk chick, and then how's that going to go? No, just I go talk. You, just I go you talk just have to, to her. Not try. Well, I've actually started doing this thing now where um, I'll go to, I grocery shop at H E B because it's like you know cheap and whatever. But I'll H-E-B's go awesome. like I'll go special grocery shopping at Whole Foods. You will fall in love on every aisle in Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah. every woman's wearing yoga pants They're and is beautiful. like beautiful, beautiful and you, fit. And the, the, <laughs> the first time I had this idea, well, like we were on. You go there. What do you buy? Gum? You are just like walking it's, around. Yeah, in, like, it's a expensive basket. enough. No, it's organic. We were gum. there. We were having a uh, another uh, social disorder shoot downtown, and we decided to eat lunch at H E B or sorry Whole Foods. And I went in, and there was just like this beautiful girl, and I actually talked to her for a little bit. I was like, God, I should come here more often. And they have like a lounge you could do laptop stuff with, whatever. Um, so yeah, I went there the other day to buy ginger beer to make Moscow mules and some bread. <laughs> and while I was there, I was like, I got like smiles from like four or five different women. And I was like, this place is great. Did so, you get numbers? No. That's not good. Yeah. Well, how do you go up and talk to a girl that's at a fucking grocery store? It's like food, right? Can I have your number? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm being Make told in the control room that there's like articles written specifically trying to help people figure out how to pick up people. Can you put those in the link down? Uh, <laughs> I need those. Actually, can you email these to me, please? Thank you. Uh, just yeah, go to a bar and say talk, hi. Talk, and talk about produce or whatever, like whatever they're fucking shopping for. Be like, which of these do you like the best? The I thing, see that though. you're buying tampons today, ma'am. You really, you <laughs> Stay out of the tampon <laughs> aisle. Honestly, fucking go to the produce section. <laughs> Did you know that pigs fear death? <laughs> 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 there you go, Blaine. Bacon, huh? <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? <laughs> <laughs> oh. My dick was too big. Memories. Blaine, it was too big. It was just Jesus Christ. It was, gonna, it was health problems. <laughs> Here's the thing. You have nothing to worry about. These girls were smiling at you. They want you to talk to them. You're a good-looking dude. You know that. Okay? <laughs> You'll be fine. Just go and talk to them. You know what? I'm going to go to Whole Foods right now after this podcast. Is Paula on. had, like, very, very authentic advice. Yeah? Be less bro. I'm not bro. I'm bro in Rooster Teeth's eyes because, like, that's, like, you know, it's acceptable and it's funny. But when I went with a girl, like, I'm, you know, Casanova. All right, let's, let's set the scenario up. Brandon is a lovely lady shopping for quinoa. Okay. You are, uh, you, shopping <laughs> for something. Hey. Hey. I got, I got Magnum condoms in my, in my grocery bag. You gotta bag. take it seriously. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm fucking buying these role for play my, my ex-girlfriend's <laughs> ex-boyfriend. We're, we're trying to help you. <laughs> no, we're not gonna role play Meanwhile, me grocery shopping American flirting. With high in protein that uh, was uh, largely eaten by indigenous people and forgotten after Spanish. You could say that. Me talking about protein, that's not You could say that when you were younger, you used to think it was pronounced quinoa or something. Quinoa. Or something, quinoa or something adorable. Ask for, ask for help figuring out how to pronounce it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make yourself look yeah. uh, Casanova over here. Vulnerable. If Make I could look. like, you know, fast or rewind like four years and I was a big Rooster Teeth fan listening to the podcast hoping one day I'd be on the podcast and knowing someday that I'd be on the podcast getting dating advice <laughs> from guys <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
Jesus. <laughs> hey, man, I figured it out. <laughs> so, fuck you. I Touché. got the achievement right the here. Only one Esther is a fine gal. You're all right. <laughs> we should all be listening to Gus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that reenactment went poorly, I will say. I like That's you. good. I didn't take it seriously at all. Yeah, everyone knows they don't sell magnums at Whole Foods. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole food. Uh, it's probably like organic condoms or something. <laughs> lambskin. Are those a thing? Do they yeah. really sell lambskin? Yeah. Oh, because people are allergic to latex? I had a girlfriend that was allergic to latex, so we had to do with lambskin or the other one. What's the other one? Uh, fucking, it's expensive. Wouldn't yeah. that weird you out oh. using a lambskin condom? It's it would weird me. It'd be like, be like kind of fucking this lamp, a lamp. Right you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> now it's on my dick. <laughs> Which is scarier? <laughs> what a horrible it's like life. It's suffering didn't end. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're boning. Oh, oh I think it's over. <laughs> no. <laughs> is, that, is that considered a threesome? <laughs> Oh my god! That's uh, some sort of some form of a is that bestiality. bestiality yeah. yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Took a dark turn. <laughs> oh man! It seems to me weird that those would still be made. If you feel like in modern times you would have another like non latex alternative, but lambskin is the it's the brand you can trust. <laughs> well, also there's so many like methods for females to use contraceptives. You know? Yeah, but I think if it's like first date. You know, when you're starting no, I mean, out, well, no matter what, you're going to use a condom. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. First date, you have sex? There's no rules. I guess. <laughs> <We're adults. laughs> well, it's like the Alpex Steakhouse. Yeah. <laughs> no just rules. Peanuts just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, you gotta, and then you got a blooming onion. <laughs> <And you're> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you like the blooming onion? Is that a, onion. <laughs> that's that's not a once in a while thing it's that's a, a go to? I, I, I don't, I mean, Outback's not like an everyday thing for me. I, I can't remember the last time I went to one. Now I want to go to one. It's just like sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> yeah, then they took those off the menu at Chili's, right? Like you can't get, they had like the awesome blossom. Yeah. And yeah. that's just gone because they got written up so many times as being like the most unhealthy thing you can possibly eat because it's just like drenched in oil. <laughs> yeah, Bennigan's was worse. And it wasn't even that creative. They had a thing called the Haystack, which was them just like, Piling a bunch of like, uh, you know, a, a pieces of onion that have been fried into a big pile So it didn't even have that wow factor and they also had the Monte Cristo which was giant and it was like uh, Fried sandwiches that also had jelly full. No, the jelly was on the side. You dipped it, right? <clears throat> no, I think yeah, there was jelly actually in it and you can get jelly on the side mm. and then one time this guy ordered two of them for himself Jeez. And I hope you're out there still listening or out there listening to this, but still alive. Good lord, how can you do that to I, yourself? I went to Alamo Drat's house last night and I had like three alcoholic beverages, an order of fried pickles, an entire pepperoni pizza to myself, and I felt like an asshole after that. It was a lot of food. It was you crazy by yourself? shit. Of course I went Was by that myself. to see Gone Girl or Fury? That was to see Fury. I went to see Violet Crown. Uh, Gone Girl at Violet Crown. I love Violet Crown. Yeah, me too. It's, it's fucking fantastic. fancy. I run into you at Violet Crown all the time. Mm -hmm. We've never talked I about went that to on the podcast. It's like it's creepy. Like I'll be sitting there in the lobby, and then every time I run into Brandon, is it the same movie? Sometimes, yes. I didn't every, think it's been creepy recently. No, every time that I run, uh, that I see Brandon there, and like we don't coordinate it, he's walking up to try to buy tickets. <laughs> no, and they're always sold out. No, that <laughs> happened <laughs> once. That like, happened Violet once. Violet Crown. It's a theater with like twenty seats. If you don't buy a ticket ahead of time, they're not gonna have a ticket. That for happened you. once. <laughs> And he's like, oh, and he's like dejected, walking away. Did you see him turn and walk out. It was, yeah, it was, it was super depressing. But that happened once. <laughs> I felt like it was twice. Maybe it might have been twice. <laughs> but yeah, we run into each other a lot. We go, uh, we see a lot of movies. Yeah, 